Hey everyone, it's Kimberly, otherwise known as uh, ABV Girl on online communities and in the craft beer community. Uh, it is New Year's Eve. Uh, afternoon time, I'm getting ready to go into a quickie shift at the bar and then celebrate uh, with loved ones tonight. But I wanted to do a quick video, as I've done in years past, to talk about uh, just a little reflection on the year as well as looking forward. Um, I don't do New Year's resolutions, but I always theme my year and talk a little bit about what I'm looking forward to in the next year. But I first wanted to start because last year I look back, I didn't do a New Year's Eve video. Uh, last year this time I was uh, kind of in a kind of in a tough spot in my life to be honest. Um, I was feeling kind of angry and lost and was just uh, not in the best place. And so last year I actually skipped my video and I started to write a blog post about it and I looked back at that too last year and I actually killed that idea too. Which if you know me, silence uh, doesn't come around a lot for me and so you know um, there was something wrong. But what I will say is in that and looking back, um, there was a lot of healing and there was a lot of lessons learned in 2015 for me and a lot of change, which I love change in my life, uh, good or bad. I always think it makes us uh, better people when we grow and change. So um, I actually had my uh, past relationship end earlier in 2015, and then subsequently I retired um, my first craft beer and adventure blog that was uh, quite successful and uh, started something new called Adventures, Brews, and Views, or what's now known as ABV Girl which has been really awesome and uh, further has helped me, um, you know, find my place in the craft beer community and also just with the amazing people that are in that community. So I'm so grateful for that. Um, and the rest of the year was really about uh, healing and uh, building my social media consulting business, which I did. It's a sweet little business now um, that's yet to be full time, but I hope um, it will be full time at some point soon. So with all of that, there was a lot of change and I learned a lot and uh, I'm very grateful because there was a lot of people that came into my life last year or this past year that really helped me move forward, um, whether they were in my life for just a period of time or and or now in my life as friends and loved ones. Uh, very grateful for all of you. I hope you know who you are um, and I hope I tell you enough. So anyway, that was really 2015. So for 2016, wow, you know, I did a lot of learning last year. I did a lot of dreaming last year. And uh, my theme for 2016 is living boldly and living adventurously. And I did a manifesto on my ABV Girl site um, that I will link to in this that talks more about what that means for me. But just really, you know, living boldly is all about pushing past fear, getting out of our comfort zones, always pursuing uh, growth and change and I really think that is so important. It's kind of how I've always lived But I want to be more intentional this year and then living adventurously is yeah It could be doing really adventurous things like skydiving or mountain climbing or whatever it may be But I think all of life is an adventure and living adventurously to me is always seeking new experiences and going after things that kind of like boldly push you into a new place in life and this year is going to be that for me. I want to just set all the fears aside, set the comparison aside, leave behind the past, and just focus on the things that matter the most in life. I think we get so caught up in the everyday and the paying the bills and doing all that that we forget that we have this precious gift that we are given. And if we're healthy and strong and can push forward, we can make and do great things for ourselves, but also for other people. And I want to encourage other people to live boldly and live adventurously and go after what it is you're supposed to be doing in life. And don't stay stuck. Don't uh, live in the negative, but move forward. So anyway, my theme for 2016 is living boldly and adventurously and really pursuing my dreams and going after the things that I think matter the most. So what is your theme for 2016? I challenge you to live boldly and adventurously, but I also challenge you to make a theme for yourself and to pursue the goals that you've been wanting to pursue. This is the year 
This will be my year. I'm super excited about it. Please hold me accountable to living my theme. If you see me in real life and or online, check in with me. I need accountability just as we all do. And I want to wish everyone a wonderful and safe New Year's Eve celebration and 2016. Thanks for watching. Bye.